This video is for educational purposes only and I hope that this video will help you and give you the information that you need. But before we start please hit the subscribe button below and like as well. I think I found a meteorite. How can I tell for sure? Is this really a meteorite? Well, that's the common questions come first in our mind when we found a unusual rocks in our backyard or anywhere. Meteorites are fragments of rock or metal that fall to earth from space. They are very rare, but many people find unusual rocks or pieces of metal and wonder if they might have found a meteorite. Meteorites have several properties that help distinguish them from other rocks. First. Density. Meteorites are usually quite heavy for their size, since they contain metallic iron and dense minerals. Second. Magnetic. Since most meteorites contain metallic iron, a magnet will often stick to them. For stony meteorites, a magnet might not stick, but if you hang the magnet by a string, it will be attracted. Third, unusual shape. Iron nickel meteorites are rarely rounded. Instead, they have an irregular shape with unusual pits like fingerprints in their surface called regmaglets. Fourth, fusion crust. Stony meteorites typically have a thin crust on their surface where it melted as it passed through the atmosphere. Meteorites do not have the following. Light-colored crystals. Quartz is a common, light-colored crystal in Earth's crust, but it is not found on other bodies in the solar system. Bubbles. Volcanic rocks or metallic slag on Earth often have bubbles or vesicles in them, but meteorites do not. Streak. If you scratch a meteorite on an unglazed ceramic surface, it should not leave a streak. A dense rock that leaves a black or red streak probably contains the iron minerals magnetite or hematite, respectively, neither of which are typically found in meteorites. These tips for identifying a meteorite were adapted from this excellent guide from the University of New Mexico Meteorite Museum. And if you want to check your suspected stones by your own, here's a self-check flow chart that can guide you. Rocks and minerals must be examined in person from all perspectives for accurate identification. They are extremely difficult to identify through photographs. You will get the best results by taking your rock or mineral to a local source where it can be handled and examined closely. Possibilities include Your state geological survey A natural science museum A college or university with a geology department Hum a rock shop. Hum members of a local gem and mineral club or rock hunting club many hobbyists or experts at identification. Please don't hesitate to ask to a geology professionals and hobbyists because they love to identify rocks. I hope that this video gives you additional information on how to identify meteorites. Please like share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and so you will be updated for my upcoming video uploads. Thank you.